to describe so you're describing people today let's learn describing people so why why do we need to describe people so we may come across many people in our day-to-day -day lives so whenever we come across any new one so when we want to convey some about somebody to somebody then we need to describe about it right so how let's begin so you can start describing somebody or someone like the face how the face and next body how their body looks like and general appearance and what is he or she is wearing what is she or is doing does he or she look happy sad worried tired how and next background where is he or she what can you see on the background is it things you need to start describing and the next one personality wait uh, you must know some adjectives which describe personality how somebody looks active friendly lazy quiet cheerful loud honest dishonest shy unfriendly nice kind intelligent wonderful good brave lovely happy unhappy stupid selfish well-behaved naughty polite rude boring generous hard-working imaginative impatient patient sociable optimistic pessimistic tidy cruel talk to mean stubborn sincere sensitive pleasant so all these adjectives you can use to describe somebody's personality next physical appearance so how their physical appearance first one comes height is a tall short medium height or of average height you can see look at them and you give the height like uh, lee la is very short or uh, quite short how tall is mahiti she is 1.68 meters tall mahiti is a very tall girl so this is about the uh, height and it's come to the figure or build so then you can say slim is of a slim or thin or fat or white broad shouldered well built body or medium built strong body strong figure weak built something like that when you are saying it you must be very conscious for instance mighty has got fair skin madhavi has got big eyes likita has got a small nose her face is round Ravi doesn't wear glasses. He is bald. Mr. Brahma has got small ears. He has got an old face. Rachita has got long curly blue hair. Body is thin. So yeah, whenever you are uh, using the adjectives like uh, first size, the next one shape, and next color. This is the order of uh, using adjectives. And the next one, let's see what is the face and head right how somebody's face maybe you can talk about shape oh his face is a square shape oval shape round shape triangular shape hot shaped so looking at their shape you are talking about its skin maybe dark or fair even you can use white British or uh, hair right hair color bland hair fair hair dark hair or bone hair so you can talk about that hair size it's maybe uh, she has long hair, he has short hair, he has medium length hair, something like that. You can say one meter hair length, uh, eight style, so you can say really straight, curly, spiky. So you use the style of the age and you can talk about it. Next one, high shape and size. So how their shape of high and size, large, small, almond shaped round shaped eye or round shaped size slanted squinty so you just use uh, based on that one next eyes how they are black black eyes blue eyes green eyes brown eyes and uh, which type of eyes somebody has nose 
small nose big nose straight nose flat nose mouth or lips so you have thin lips full lips pouting lips post lips so that and next uh, laugh how they laugh smiling smiling face laughing face beam grin frown grimace scroll get that next mouth your small small mouth wide mouth thick or thin look at that and you just have this finger. apart from that case men and women they have various different things like mustache beard if they are wearing glasses uh, freckles wrinkles scar tattoo if somebody has somebody may have uh, scars on their face you can talk about that if somebody has may have uh, wrinkles or freckles you talk about that even some nowadays uh, people use uh, tattoos so you can talk about it and uh, trend um, men are uh, growing their uh, beard so that also you can say he had a long beard like that you can use it the face and head the next one age so your age how do you talk old man or young person mature one elderly about 25 you're just guessing somebody says about 25 middle-aged in his 30s a teenager a child a baby an adult right homer and uh, merge are middle-aged they have got three children lisa is young she is a teenager Bart is also a teenager they are teenagers maggie is a baby homer is a tall middle-aged man so your size age and uh, color so that's we are taking that only size and age tall height and uh, age it's middle-aged looks how somebody looks uh, pretty beautiful handsome ordinary looking ugly or you can say awesome wonderful extraordinary you can use adjectives depending on the context right seducing also possible but negative context right merge is uh, very pretty homer is an ordinary looking man so you're talking about that for example so you're describing people right how do you describe him right uh, it's a he's tall he has block hair his hair is short look at her mate she's tall she's fame she's slim she has blue eyes he has a big nose let's look at the big nose it has a big mouth tiger has a big mouth look at that feelings right talk about this feelings how they are what do you think how do how do they feel are they happy are they sad or they how they are right just this about right so we can see that angry and how these people they are sad look at this this is eyes shining so they are just happy uh, just look at the image that's right what you can say about this man right you just have a glance of the image and try to describe how do you describe just look at that image and describe the person so here you can see that uh, so what about this right so you can see in this picture we can see man eating a cake he is sunbathing in a crowded beach this man is a little overweight his face is round and is a short he has a bushy mustache and a small nose his forehead is wrinkled so he's probably 40 years old or more so you're simply just guessing based on uh, certain features just aging the best he's wearing glasses swimming tracks and a pattern scrap on his head this is about just describing about the person right you can talk about that next uh, describing places when you want to describe a place how you can start right where is the bookstore simply you can simply use like um, bookstore is between church and pets in front of a uh, church and use that or uh, behind the church next to the church bookstore is next to the church similarly bookstore is near the church bookstore is far from the church simply we are using it and uh, bookstore is at the corner 
bookstore is on the corner possibly you can use the both bookstore is uh, across from the church use that one right describing objects when you are describing right make sentences using there is there are based on the object so you can begin with the sentence there is or there are uh, pay attention to the objects whether singular or plural so right uh, depending on the context you are used to use that one use the appropriate preposition and uh, say its shape and appearance when you are describing objects right for example useful expressions uh, when you are describing it right for example the photo shows the photo exhibits similarly in the picture in the picture we can see right you are you are showing the picture and you are talking about it in the picture we can see what you talk about it in this picture these the there is or there are so what you find in that in the foreground we can see in the background we can see right you can talk about it in the background there is or there are you can use based on the context so two eyes umbrella there are two eyes on the umbrella so where are the things in the photo so you can say at the top on the left in the center on the right at the bottom or so here what are other prepositions you can use of place right in on under below above near next to so on so forth these are the possible prepositions you can use uh, when you are talking about the photo right where the things are that so what are the people doing right what are the people doing right the boy so here we can use the present continuous the bo a boy is listening to music because we can see that he has uh, carrying a uh, recorder a tape recorder so you can say that right the girls are talking to each other so here we are using present continuous because it's happening at the moment so we talk about uh, clothes appearance feelings so on so forth here is uh, wearing blue jeans a hat and orange t-shirt they are very young so here we're talking about girls they are very young they look happy and carefree so this thing is talking about uh, girls thank you for watching subscribe my channel for more videos